Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Angela. If you are new here, I have a main channel called The Scattered Nest where we do family vlogs. And this is my personal channel where I just share whatever I want, whatever's in here. Sometimes we talk about motherhood. Sometimes we talk about beauty products. Sometimes I share beauty stuff with you. Sometimes we talk about adoption. Um, sometimes we talk about food. I mean, we talk about whatever we feel like talking about. So if you're not already subscribed, be sure to do that. Today's video is going to be my January favorites. I don't have a ton, but what I do have is good stuff. So I'm excited to share with you guys some things that I was using in January and I'm still using and that I really loved and I think you will perhaps love as well. Got the coffee here, always got the coffee. If you're into travel stuff, then you should definitely follow me over on this gathered nest because we stuffed our seven kids and ourselves into an RV and took off on a little trip. So if you're into following that kind of fun slash chaos slash awesome slash madness, you will definitely want to be following us over on this gathered nest. Um, all of that is happening in real time on my Instagram. So if you are not following me there, I will leave a link down below that is just this gathered nest on Instagram, but that's all like real time stuff. Um, some of these videos are like a week or more behind. Um, also, welcome to the place where we film even if my room is messy. This is still happening. It's still not done. All of this mess that needs to get taken care of still hasn't. So it is what it is. Also, I want y'all to know that I bought a little furry rug for my chair because it's like one of those plastic chairs. That's my spine. And every time I'm editing, I can hear that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it sounds like I'm farting even though I'm not um, because I wouldn't do that on camera. But you see what I'm saying? Also, perhaps I should go to a chiropractor because why does my spine stick out so much? Anyways, okay, here we go. Let's get into the favorites before this gets super weird. Okay, these two products are very new to me, but I'm really, really liking them. And here's the deal. I saw someone, an influencer, post about them on Instagram and I was like, okay, that looks really interesting. And I actually went to the store two or three times to find them and they weren't out yet. I tried to order them online, but they were sold out. And then I just found them in my Target store. So these are products are both by Nexus. This first one, it's their between washes stuff. It's the Smooth and Clean Day Two Refresher Dry Shampoo Foam. You heard that right. It's a foam. You can see I have a little mess there. Um, it's a foam that you put in your root and then obviously it dries down um, and gives you like a refreshed, uh, refreshed cleaner scalp. Guys, I, I'm really liking this. I have been on the struggle bus with dry shampoo for a while, just feeling like nothing was quite working in my hair very well. I felt like I used to have better luck with it. I don't know what's going on. It's probably my hair, not the, not the companies who make dry shampoo. It's probably my hair. But I really, really, really like this stuff. And did I mention that it smells amazing? Cause that's like a prerequisite for me when it comes to hair stuff. I want my hair, especially if I'm not washing it, to smell really good and clean. And I just like this stuff and I feel like it helps to pull your hair away from your head. So it's not so like, obviously I don't like that look. It doesn't look good on me with my face shape. Some people look great with like slick down hair. I just don't, um, but this stuff is amazing. Um, also, we'll get into that in a second. Um, this one is the Between Washes Airlift Dry Texture Finishing Spray. This one I, ha I, I like. I just haven't quite figured out its exact best purpose for me because I use that Amica Undone Texture Spray. This one also smells amazing. Holy heck. But this one says you can spray it from root to tip. Um, and it's just an airy bounce, a, white, a weightless, a weightless, a weightless spray finishes your style and keeps a weightless textured look. So basically you're adding in texture without weight. So I would say that that does a pretty good job. Um, so definitely if I can find these to link at Target or Ulta, I will, but otherwise check in the store when you go in because I definitely think this dry shampoo foam, that's the first time I've ever seen a dry shampoo foam. I've seen a spray, I've seen a powder. This is the first time I've seen it in a foam form, a foam form. And I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm here for it. Okay. Let's see. What should we move on to next? I feel like I had something else right there and now it's gone. Oh, okay. We're going to stick with the beauty stuff. All right, so this, um, I don't know what that says. This perfume, it's called Molecule One by Eccentric Molecules. So here's what happened. I went to the Shine Conference for Noonday 
I'm sitting there on the aisle seat and one of the photographers that was there photographing the event kept coming up to the front and she'd sit down right in between the aisles to take pictures. And every time she'd sit down, this lovely scent would get wafted my way. She also had on the most adorable t-shirt um, and I really wanted to ask her where it was from. But here's what happened. Finally, after like the sixth time in the dark in this room, I just like leaned over and tapped her on the shoulder. I was like, excuse me, you smell really good. What perfume are you wearing? Um, she laughed and told me uh, that it was Molecule One. I probably completely creeped her out though. So I went back to my hotel room that night and started looking it up and I was like, okay, okay, sister, you're, you, 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 you could afford some finer things because I was only finding it at like Bergdorf Goodman and Neiman Marcus and it was quite expensive. Um, I don't know. I, I consider myself a mid-grade perfume buyer. Um, I, I don't know. I just, I don't usually buy like super expensive perfumes. But what ended up happening was when I searched for this, the like Google shop thing came up. And so through that, I found it for like half the price. It was from like fragrance.net or something. I don't know. It, is it supposed to have a cap? Maybe that's why. It didn't come with a cap. Maybe that's why it was less expensive. I don't know. But if you want to look for this, just search for it online and see if you can find it at like fragrance.net if you don't want to pay the full price. There's obviously more than one type of molecule. This is molecule one. Um, but let me let me try to describe the scent to you because here we go. This is good. Oh, I just think I sprayed that in my coffee. Um, okay. It just has a very natural smell. Like, you know, people who use essential oils as perfume. Um, I like that. I've never found a combination I liked enough to wear as perfume. This just has kind of a woodsy, I think this is supposed to be unisex. I feel like nothing I'm saying right now is making this perfume sound good. Um, woodsy and unisex usually are not like things that women think of that they would like. But I, I just don't know how to describe it. Oh, I'm sure there's like notes, you know, perfume notes that tell you I don't have the box, so I don't know. But if you're in the store, give this a sniffer because I think if you like more of a natural scented perfume that's not too sweet, but not too spicy either because you know, like the Nirvana perfume, the white and black ones and stuff, sometimes there's either too sweet or too spicy. And this one I feel like is a perfect combination right in the middle that like, Okay, not that I wear perfume to like go hiking and stuff like that, but if I'm gonna do like outdoor activities, I think this would be a great perfume for summer and outdoor stuff where you would smell good, but not overly perfumed. Thank you for coming to my TED talk about perfume. Next up, I think I've, I'm, oh hey oh, you guys didn't see that catch, I think it was off camera. Um, this is the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptide, so I'm back on my kick of trying to eat healthier, back to eating gluten-free, um, you guys know that I had a flare up of gastritis. I had gone to intermittent fasting and with that, I felt like, you know, maybe I've got a little leeway. Maybe I might add back in a little more carbs, um, like pastas and breads and things like that. And with the intermittent fasting, it wasn't making me gain weight. So I was like, this is great. But after a couple weeks, my stomach just went nutso um, and had a gastritis flare up, which was terrible. I like thought I was pregnant because I wasn't feeling good. Um, like I was feeling really nauseous. It was so weird. But and it took probably a good week for that to, to heal. Um, so... I've gone back to eating gluten-free. I'm mixing that with, um, with the intermittent fasting. I was doing the faster way to fat loss program that I've talked about before, but then my gastritis flared up and that was right at the start of the program. So I'm talking with my coach about doing the, maybe the next cycle of that. Cause I really would like to do it. Um, I've heard great things about it. I just, it was horrible timing for me. I couldn't, there was, I couldn't really eat. So there wasn't and I needed to eat to help with the gastritis, so it was I couldn't just do like the intermittent fasting. Um, any who's it's, so I've been adding this Vital Proteins Collagen Peptide back into my coffee in the mornings. Um, it's great because it has protein in it. If you're doing intermittent fasting though, don't add this in until you're ready to, to break your fast because it does have 70 calories. Um, so it's got skin, hair, nail, and joint support, grass-fed and pasture-raised. Um, 20 grams of collagen per serving. This stuff just does really wonders for your skin, hair, nails, and obviously the protein is good for you. <laughs> and speaking of things to eat, um, I just thought I would share if you are a gluten freer that I really love these almond nut thins. I think I've shared about them before because I was eating these um, pretty much like you would consume because I was eating these at an unhealthy 
rate combined with um, the pimento cheese, okay? That's not good if you're trying to lose weight. Don't pound the pimento cheese. But these crackers I think are really good. I'm somebody who really likes like meat crackers and cheese. So you know those little things that they sell at Target that's like the wine infused salami and like I love those things with those little hard crunchy like bagel-y crackers, slice of cheese, piece of meat. Like I will eat that and be happy. Um, so I got these to replace the delicious bread cracker thing with these, um, but they are really good. A great alternative to a typical cracker, especially if you're somebody who likes hummus or, I mean, I can eat tortilla chips, so I don't necessarily, wouldn't necessarily eat these with guacamole, but like hummus or any other kind of dips, things like that. Um, or if you just wanna add them with some meat. Okay, next we're gonna talk about some sunglasses, y'all. All right, so these are from Quay. Is that how you say that? Is it Quay? Way? Hua? Who? I don't think Quay is right. Somebody's gonna correct me, probably harshly. It's fine, I deserve that. I should have probably Googled how to pronounce it, but I call it Quay. I don't think that's it. Uh, I think it is Way. I don't know. Okay, so I think these are called After Hours is the style name of them. Um, they're like a tortoise, and I do think they have them in a black. I always look for glasses that are at least like 55 millimeters. You know, they give you like the size of them like that. I usually look for at least 55, but if it's over 60, I'm a happy camper. And I think these are listed at like 65 maybe. Um, I just, I just really like them. I kind of have a big head um, or a big face or something. I don't know what it is, but I like bigger sunglasses. And you guys know my hardcore love for those cheap sunglasses from Nordstrom, which I will link below because I've shared a million times. They're only like $14. These are uh, pricier than that. They are not <laughs> designer like $400 sunglasses. These are, they think $55. So um, more than you're gonna pay at Target, but less than you're gonna pay for designer glasses. So, and they're really like sturdy and thick. Um, and I really, really like them. Plus I feel like every time I wear sunglasses on Instagram stories or something, I get at least five messages asking me where my sunglasses are from. And I do the same thing to people because it's just something about sunglasses, but it is hard because depending on their head shape, like I ordered these aviators after watching another YouTuber, she would wear them all the time. And I was like, oh my gosh, those are so cute. And I ordered them and they looked like little tiny bug things on me because she clearly had a smaller head than I do. So, but these, I feel pretty confident if you're a big headed person, <laughs> you will, these will work for you. Okay, let's just jump real quickly over to cleaning products. Let's take two seconds. The Myers Orange Clove Scent. This has been missing in my life for I don't know how long, but I'm so, so glad it's here. Um, I love Grove Collaborative. I order from them every single month. I've shared with you guys maybe once or twice before. I will put my link down below. I believe if you use my link, you get something like either $10 credit or like a $25 gift set. You can see I'm really good at this stuff. I don't really know, but I know you do get something if you're interested, but we order all of our cleaning supplies every single month from Grove. Um, we just go in and select different cleaners we wanna try, different scents and stuff like that, and then um, they usually have something special that comes out in like summer and winter. We got their pomegranate stuff for winter. I absolutely love it all. Um, my mom is hooked on it now. My grandma's hooked on it now. We all just love it. Um, I love their sponges. We get their dish towels, their soy candles. Um, let's see, I get their the glass cleaner, toilet bowl cleaner, and I also usually order the babies. Um, brand of body wash and lotion and stuff that I really like, uh, I order from them as well. So it's great, I can just change my order every month. This is not sponsored by the way. I just change my order every month depending on what we need that month. If we don't need any more glass cleaner, if we have enough, then I don't order more. Um, and you can just change all of that. So anyways, it's I think it's just great. And I, I love these Myers products. And I know you can get these at Target, but you can't always get all the scents. Like that's my thing is Target usually just has a few basic ones. And I feel like with Grove, there's lots of options. So you guys know my love for the American Eagle sweatshirts. I picked up this new one the other day. Um, and I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with all of them. This one's a hoodie, and I like the way the hoodie crosses in the front. I think it's flattering. These sweatshirts are just so good. It's, hi, it's long enough to cover your butt, and it's got snaps on the side so that you can either close it if you want to or, or free ball it, you know, just let it all hang out. I'm just kidding. I just like that. It gives it more movement. Um, my 
butt is larger. And so the, like the other sweatshirt that has pockets, I still really like it, wear it all the time, but it does cling to my butt. Um, this one does not cling to my butt. I get a medium. I could probably get a small. I'm so weird about sizing. Every store I go to, I feel like my size completely fluctuates. But in American Eagle, I feel like they have kind of generous sizing. So anyways, I get a medium, um, but they had a few different colors in this and I might get one more just because these are just the most coziest cozy sweatshirts. And every time I wear cozy sweatshirts like this on the on our vlogs and stuff, people always ask me um, or on Instagram. So I just wanted to like preemptively share this gray hoodie with you from American Eagle. I don't, I'm hoping that maybe I'll try it on and insert a little clip here so you can actually see what it looks like instead of like, it's gray. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about with this sweatshirt. I wouldn't, I mean, I, I'm fine wearing it with jeans, but I'm just saying it would totally work with leggings because it's long enough um, that it covers the bum. And then you can button these up as much as you want or leave them loose. Okay, so this is a medium. I'm about 5'8". So you can see um, how far it covers the booty. And I kind of have a big booty. So if you have a smaller booty, it probably will cover you even more. But I just wanted to show you guys because I absolutely love this sweatshirt. It's so comfy and cozy. I like the way the hood fits. Um, I just really like it. Probably, maybe, probably going to get another color, you know? I did um, a sponsorship with Fabletics over on Instagram. And you guys know, first of all, I don't work with companies I don't really like. But I want you to know that, like, these things are legit legit and I am obsessed because here's why. These are like the heather knit leggings and like a camo, they're high rise. Um, they are so insanely comfortable, so insanely comfortable. Uh, they hold your, your stuff in, they hold your bits in. You guys know, I've talked about the bits. They hold the bits in. Um, and then these are the, the black ones. I have others, I have others that, but these are my two favorite favorites. These are the power hold leggings. Sorry, they're inside out. These are the power hold leggings and they have kind of like the mesh cut out here, which was just a design that I liked and the seven eighths link. But the quality of them is so good. Like it's so good. Um, I, I will buy the Lululemon Align pants. I have a couple pairs of them. Those things cost about a hundred dollars each. I think they're 90 something dollars because I love, love, love the way they feel. They really feel like you're not wearing any pants at all. Don't we all want to feel like we're not wearing pants all the time? Um, but these, I really like the high waistedness hits at the right place. So it's not giving you a bunch of like, you know, sometimes things are high waisted. Okay. And what ends up happening is all the stuff gets pushed up and then it comes over the top of that. So you've got like boob bra fat, and then another roll. It, I mean, you look like a roll of lifesavers. So these don't do that though. They hold you in, but not so much that you're bubbling out the top of things. I don't know, I can't say enough good things about them. And they gave me a link, which I shared in Instagram stories. So I'll post it again below. I don't, it's not an affiliate link or commission link. I don't make any money. But I think what it is, is you get two pairs of leggings for $24. Just even the tops, I, I showed on Instagram, like I got a turtleneck, um, like seamless top, so cute, so comfortable. I got a tank top that has like side ruching on it, which you could totally wear if you were pregnant, just as like a comfortable tank top or the rest of the time, it's just more flattering the way that ruching makes your waist look and everything. Every single product that I got that came, I absolutely have loved. Um, I do think their sports bras run a teeny bit small. You might wanna size up a smidge in the sports bras, but everything else I felt like was pretty true to size. I got mediums in both of the pants and mediums in like all of the tops. So anyways, is there anything else for this favorites? I can't think of anything. You know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna end this video and I'm gonna be like, dang it, I meant to share blah, blah, blah but I legitimately think that's it for now. So yeah, those were my favorites for the month of January. I love sharing this stuff with you guys. You know that I love to try new things. I'm a bit of a product junkie and I like to try new things. So I don't know what this is gonna look like for February since we're gonna be on the road for the whole month. I am really trimming down what I'm taking, but that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Um, all the links to everything that I can provide for you guys will be down below in the comments. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you all have a great week and I will see you again soon. Bye.